Hey there, welcome to the third and I believe the final part from the new Nadlan Arkan quest. So let's see how it goes, this final part. The fight is finally picking up with the Abyss, so let's see how it goes. Marika! <sighs> Traveler, Paimon Sitlali. Perfect timing. I've located the captain. Oh, really? That's he? great! We also just took a peek at Aurora's memories and discovered something huge! Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, all with his granny's permission, of course. Or no, actually, it was... Uh, calm down, Paimon. I'll take it from here. So the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. But why? Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes. It's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within the current ley lines, very similar to the price of using a Gnosis. If he activates the mechanism, it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. But what forces do we have? Kanich, I mean, Shilonen, you two, yeah. and myself. <laughs> All other the warriors? warriors are working to push back the abyss on the front lines. But that's barely any people. Not to mention you lost your power, and they've got the captain on their side. All right. Oh, well, maybe we really should get Sitlali to break Oran's legs. Although he's injured too, he has an injury. That won't so. help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the Masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Seat Lali, I was hoping you could head back and help defend the tribe. All right. I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. I'll leave him to you all then. All right. Back to the matter at hand. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. Yeah, I don't even know why they have to fight him. I mean, they're all trying to save Nathlan and they don't seem to have spoken or at least not in the last 500 years. So I feel like they could try talking, you know? Let me grab Shilonen and Kanich, then I'll tell you my idea. As you all know, Auroron is working with the captain, and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that shouldn't deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element, the source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and then success is ours. We'll head out together, and the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. No, you are our leader, and you've lost your, lost your power. You shouldn't be the one to face the captain. I agree with Kanich. The two of us can handle it. Listen to my plan first. Kanich, I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the Fatui defenses. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. So, you want us to lure him to the front? No. The purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the Fatui forces in one place. That way, it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shilonen, I need you to do what your tribe does best, and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Once we get close to the device, we just need to destroy it. No, Shilonen is launching the main assault. Exactly. The Traveler and I will join her as well. No one can create a distraction better than you, Kanich. Not even myself. By combining our strengths, we just might manage to break through the captain's defenses. Leave it to me. Understood. Then we should, uh, head out now. Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You cannot face the captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst possible outcome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You have my word. All right, so things are getting quite serious, right? Oh, where is that?
I hope the audio sounds fine. I've been trying to switch it up a lot and like switch the volumes, adding filters, but I feel like I haven't been able to get properly the hang of it. And the microphone I got, you really need to speak directly to it. So it's kind of hard to like looking at the screen and talking it. to it. I have to like speak diagonally. I don't know how to how to explain it. And as for Shalone, I've been playing her and she's pretty fun actually. I still don't have her completely built, but I'm getting there. Alright, so we're going to fight the Fatui right now, I guess. Well, distract them. Well, or Dictator, no, I, I don't know. Alright, this is the place. Her tunnel must be behind that gathering of Fatui guard. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the... As agreed, Aha and I will handle things at the front. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first so they can't alert anyone. There was the air thing right there. Oh. 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 Where was it? Oh. What? Oh, I guess it was for the crystal flies. We do we have to fight them or not? <laughs> oh yeah, it literally says if it up to it. Alright, that's done. Oh let's head the rest of the mountain. We got Can we see them? Oh, we can. All right, there's a huge, gigantic dragon head. What do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. We'll take it from. I can see the inside! Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you- Alright. Please, take care. Oh, it's a little thing. Um... I'll take this thing. The Fatui wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, next up, next up, rock, Malika. Look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing. I Even by my tribe standards. Very immune to Geo, sorry. All right. Yeah, actually, I don't want to go too fast. I, I that really must like... be the Fatui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. I really like looking around the architecture because I feel like it's especially important for the lore. That looks like an eye. Like... Hmm. I think we have only seen this type of architecture here in Natland. So that's pretty interesting. But they seem to share the Triketa like symbol right there, but well, anyway. Let's fulfill the mission. What's in here? 
Oh, nothing. <laughs> I thought it was a note. <sighs> this spell is from the Masters of the Nightwind. It's Auroron's doing. They're probably trying to buy time. They're moving. These wheels are relics from ancient times. We should try to restore them. These mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Let's give them a try. Oh, we have to stop them. Well, I'm pretty sure I did it wrong. Oh, look. Looks like a hat, too. Uh... I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Probably not. Like, I feel like it's completely wrong. Just I'm 100% wrong. I'm gonna take a look at the picture again. I'll pretend I know. Oh yeah, I can kind of see it. I did it backwards, I think. Um... Oh, there's a hint. Oh. Oh, I missed it. Um.
Well, that one's correct. But I think the game is actually correcting my correcting me. What we're getting there. I I guess it did work. Must be it. Here they are. Oh, the captain's here too. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, they're here. Huh. I thought the Pyro Archon would choose a frontal assault. It doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. Stop! It's too late. That kind of looks like something. We need to turn from it off. Leeway. I won't let you do this. Oh come on, what is that guy gonna do <gasps> anyway? The sound of... lament? What was that sound? Now's our chance to turn off the... What is happening? Oh, Aurora? <clears throat> His movements have gotten a lot faster. Was Aurora always this good in battle? <sighs> Guys possess. This ends now! <clears throat> huh? What? Something's wrong. <laughs> you are not Auroran. Who are you? Uh, what? <laughs> Commander. You. So, you still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Although, I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. We did it! <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment. And now, you've lost your chance. His voice is completely different. Is... is someone inhabiting Auroran's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. That must be why I've returned. Wait, wait. For this moment. Commander. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. From the Fatui? <sighs> or... I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Abandoning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already close to death. After all, Aurora? his soul has been incomplete oh, from yeah. the start. <sighs> oh, someone said I'm close to death. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry came from underground when I activated the device. What's down there? Natlan's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. Ugh. Ah, Aurora, it's you. What'll it be today? Oh, why the long face? Uh, don't tell me you still haven't let that go. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you. I... I heard everyone wanted me to be the savior. Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Auroran, is that you? Oh, here, have a seat. 
let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh batch. Can I get you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, maybe? Ask for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Ah, you liked those, did you? An outlander taught me that recipe, actually. A merchant, to be exact. Never thought about going into business yourself, my boy. You could travel all over. Our Auroron? A merchant? He's far too honest for that line of work. Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old-timers like us. Hmm. Everyone said a true savior does not really exist, but then... Why did my birth open the door to the possibility? Maybe I don't need to sacrifice myself, but... Surely everyone is born for a purpose. So... What's mine? If I had succeeded back then... Would the world have become a better place? Ugh... What's the meaning of my existence? Done spacing out, Auroron? Did you finish your homework? Yes, Granny. It's just... <sighs> Will learning all this really make me as strong as you? <laughs> of course not! I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. <sighs> because you're a genius, right? <laughs> You could say that. <laughs> or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them, and picked up a few tricks that they didn't want to touch. Uh, ahem. It's rude to bring up a woman's age. Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> um, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Anyway, class is canceled tomorrow. Go have fun. What about my homework then? Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me anyway? You've seen how the tribe treats me. They're all afraid. I try to go about my business and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living one's life, I'd say. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. Is that why he joined the fraternity? Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself. Don't beat yourself up over the past. But I never forced myself. I never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Hey, you zoning out over here again? There's such a thing as overwatering the radishes, you know. I was just looking at the aphids. Something interesting about them today? Uh, I noticed some on the ground. Maybe oh, it got so too cute. cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Bummer. Guess that means less honey this year. Aoife, do you think mm, being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. Exactly. Most oh. people live like that. Aoife looks no pretty cool. Special purpose or if calling. that's him, that is. That's just how the world works. Oh, jeez. That troublemaker's at it again. Aurora on my man. Come inside and give me a hand, would you? Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. Well, I guess there is a fun part. Trying to outsmart these rascals. Come on, <laughs> give me a hand. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. My soul is unstable. I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece. A part of me has always been missing. That's why the other spirit said I was close to death, but... Why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Oh? Just close your eyes. That's, that's a guy from... Wait for death. That's a guy from you, Kenria. The thing that came out of nowhere. Thing? Warrior. All right, so Capitano like is you. from Canria. I'm not weak. There's just a limit to what I can do. And that's exactly why your fantasy is so ridiculous. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? Well, explain the clothes. Useless? Savior? 
Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why... Exactly. Most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So, do what you want. But I don't want things to end here. Auroron? It's all right. We'll take things from here. Every time they marched into battle. Don't worry. With the Archon on our side, the Abyss doesn't... St All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. Both of us are bound to disappear. But your end will come sooner than mine, because you've been broken from the start. Um... Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates into the wind, I will take temporary control yeah, why is this guy such a hater? Body. No. No, this isn't right. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. I can't die here. No! I won't die here! Aurora! Aurora! <sighs> Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. Mm. The animation is quite something, I guess. Uh, uh. We had a guy from camera come and be a, a hater. He's alive! <sighs> well but done. we learned that you Captain managed to do the impossible. Was from Canria, and he was a commander. Uh -huh. Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. <sighs> I can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of Auroran as a comrade. He was helping to rein him in the... Uh, I... I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you managed to hold on to yourself. The worst appears to be over. <clears throat> I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. Our plan. It failed, didn't it? I feel like I'm here in a silly, but... We were so close. Silly? Silly. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. Auroron, I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer. A reason why I exist and why everyone always did so much for me. No one is born a hero. And no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All I want is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. <gasps> Oh. Yeah, you see, it was pretty obvious he was going to be one of the heroes. You are the inheritor of my name. Fun the hero from the Masters of Fun the night? night Wind, who shall fight for this generation. Fascinating. You're not the person that the others thought you were. And yet. You're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. It can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Like you. I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning. Too self-absorbed. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Now, remember your name. Even if others will see a different meaning, it still symbolizes your nobility and yearning. My ancient name. BD. BD. Devotion. It means devotion. You will give your all, not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found for your life. For that answer, you will offer all of your strength and be born anew. Through your devotion, you will prove your worth. 
having foretold his own death. The omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with this final tribute. That kind of sounds like, so that kind of sounds like something that will be in like, oh, there's a silly. That, that kind of sounds like something that will be in like in an artifact or like, do you know those stones where like the archons were hinted? Kind of sounds like that. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sunhudge. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. <sighs> I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. Who's that? It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought. The Lord of the Night has awakened. Oh? Lord of the Night? As in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom? I preside over a realm of souls. Due to my limited power, Sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But with a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened and his soul almost shattered as a result. And yet, his soul remains in one piece. He managed to overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will. A truly impressive feat for a human. So was that what caused all his strange behavior earlier? No. An additional soul was affected. It tried to take refuge in the missing part of your friend's soul, but was ultimately expelled. However, this soul does not hail from that land, or the Night Kingdom. Its origins remain a mystery to me. So even such a powerful lord does not know about Kanria? Oh yeah, well Kanria isn't that old. Like, it was... Like, when we went to Dragon's Plane, we learned that in the records we found, they were starting to peel it, so that's probably why she doesn't know. Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Why did it awaken you instead? Because I was the one who originally constructed Natland's ley lines, otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world allowing the Abyss to invade. Natland's ley lines took the worst of the damage. Oh, so this fight is even back when from the Descenders and the Dragons, so... The timeline's kinda weird right now. To aid the people of Natland, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old ley lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyro Archon, Shibalonke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss, the Ode of Resurrection, and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right! You said before it all came from the power of the heavens! The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lack the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. It doesn't sound like they were trying to do any harm, though, I guess. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now, I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more at the cost of my own existence.
existence. Oh. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Natlam worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angels. Boss. What exactly does she mean? Because she's talk. Okay, she's talking about the dragons in the descender. Back then, the apart from humans, the only ones were the ceilings, and it seemed like she's the one that spawned those three. So, so the ceilings were angels after all. But like. Did humans give them that name? Because if she's saying that people of Natland worship me and call me their lord, but then they were called angels. So were they called angels by the humans, I guess? Well. But adventurers like you are probably more familiar oh. with our devolved form. Alright. Well. Seelies. Oh my god, what is going on? No wonder there are Seelies around here. But Seely also helped us in the Night Kingdom! Few angels remain in that land. So the same is true of Seelies. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival. And I have become your faith. I am very pleased. So, the primordial one was the one who cursed them, and they were angels. So, like, why did he curse them? Like, if I remember correctly, it was because one of them fell in love with a de another descender, like an outlander. But like, so they love humans. The angels like humans. They're good. But the mortal one, they seem suspicious. Moika, inheritor of Shibalonke's will and leader of Natlan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken. And the efforts of this harbinger and the young hero have imbued me with power. Say the word. And I will once again work to fulfill my mandate. Just as I did thousands of years ago. You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the abyss. I will not. Um. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention... All the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. Oh. The people of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the Abyss runs rampant, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. You know, I feel like there's a lot of, like, going on, like, as in, I feel like this is representing a much more bigger storyline like possibly what happened during the time of like the primordial one because i don't know like i feel there's something hidden in all their words what will it take for you to realize that how many hundreds or thousands will have to die the situation hasn't gotten that dire yet has it i mean he's from kangri he's probably scared Why? Oh. Because I am a survivor of Conria. 
I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the Abyss with my own eyes. <sighs> Honria? That's right. My family. My comrades. My homeland. We're all lost to the Abyss. It is an unforgettable pain. One that no amount of time could ever dull. Not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Is he talking about the five sinners? You have that chance before you now. Why do you refuse to take it? Because we don't have the right to make that decision. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings, their physical bodies the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in humanity, you should trust in their ability to create a new future. Or history could repeat itself. The Abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. Oh, his eyes kind of reflect Can like... Can I say something? Movika's side and Capitano's side, I guess. I once carried the hopes of many people. And I was also desperate to save our nation. In the captain's plan, I saw a chance to ensure our survival. But as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life. I refuse to forget that. My feelings were so strong, they overrode my compulsion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we will lose the meaning of our existence. That's right. Natland's heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the Abyss. Their sacrifices are our blessings. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. I don't want to give up just yet. Yeah, we're just one hero short! The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. Even if you fail, you need only send someone my way. My offer still stands. Humanity is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now, you stand before me, dazzling, like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The land, or its people? Hmm. Oh. Wait. Why is he looking at us? Why is he looking at the Traveler? What's going on? Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. Um... Fine. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited the memories of his forebear... What was that? There's only one hero left. Your plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. Who's gonna be the last one? Is it gonna be us? In the meantime, I see shall have the, the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Thank you. Having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. See, all I they needed was to talk. Completely see eye to eye on what it means to protect life, but for now, oh. I'm willing to fight by your side. Oh. All right, we should uh, let now. everyone else know about the plan. They're probably still at each other's throats outside. Good idea. We need to explain the situation. Oh, guess we'll stick around then. 
Yes! Lord Time. I'll update everyone outside. Let's meet back up at the stadium. Okay, work with me with many questions. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. They do not like being mentioned by name by any living being, be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. The one you wish to know about? I call her the Ruler of Death. She helped Natlan establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which quite displeased the Almighty... <sighs> Heavenly Principle. She succumbed to self-pity as a result, and no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self-pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. You come to me with many questions, and you should be rewarded for your bravery. I'm not familiar with that concept. The device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines, you say? Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. If that power were available to the people of Natlan, they might have a new option against the Abyss. You come to me with many questions. Phlogiston is Tavat's primordial form of energy. The Heavenly Principles used Phlogiston as a basis for the creation of elemental energy to develop a power to better counter the Abyss. Have you heard of the concepts of the Light Realm and the Human Realm? Hmm. That explanation might take too long. Light refracts into seven different colors which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. Elemental energy is a similar concept. It's essentially the modern counterpart of phlogiston. You come to me with many questions, and you should be rewarded for your... Ah, yes, yes. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. The young girl? What? Did I say something wrong? You come to me with many questions. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge. Can we actually, like, are they part of a quest or are they just there? Oh. Hmm. Well, I'll follow the quest and then I'll be back later. Oh, we're not into that. That's. Oh, can we even come back? All right, I'll explore a bit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
they don't seem to be to do anything, so. Oh, we can go in. We just have to leave. <laughs> says a group of us need to stay behind to guard the source mechanism. Of course, you're free to come and go as you... All right. In that case, allow me to formally welcome the Fatui to our cause. We now face a common enemy. It's time to put our differences behind us and look to the future. As for Auroron, his actions may have been out of line, but I don't intend to punish him right now. I'd rather give him a chance right to now. prove himself. A magnanimous decision. Magnanimous. We're back! Whoa, seeing the two of you chatting like this... Paimon almost feels like she's dreaming. This may be an unexpected outcome, but a favorable one nonetheless. Now that we're all here, I have some questions of my own. Tell me, how did you discover the source mechanism? We weren't getting any closer to obtaining the Gnosis, so I had my men scour Natland for a different option. Auroron helped as well. We tracked down three scholars, a Barrowal, Bosomtwe and Kushtal, and combine the results of their research to locate this ancient device. ABC. <sighs> I've never heard those names before. Seems like my own investigation failed to locate some critical personnel. I'm just not sure how I missed them. Hmm. That sounds kind of suspicious, not gonna lie. Strange. Perhaps they simply live in seclusion. Or is that maybe like a third party helping out? In any case, their results speak for themselves. That's true. Now we have another option at our disposal. Compared to using the Gnosis, our current plan will buy us some time. And if all else fails, we still have this plan as a last resort. Even though executing it will come at a heavy cost. But that means making everyone forget their past! We sh Oh, actually, speaking of the Gnosis, how did you know what it could do? That story begins with the Cataclysm 500 years ago. Let's go. More lore. I failed to save Conria from the rampage of the Abyss. When the situation became unsalvageable, I fled to Natlan with the remainder of my platoon, only to find that Natlan had fallen victim to the same tragedy. I defended this land for quite some time, and in the process, met the chief of the masters of the Nightwind, Aizu. I'm sure many people viewed Conria as the cause of the tragedy, but Aizu was kind to me all the same, and even helped me in my time of need. From that moment, I made it my mission to aid Natlan. In battle, a warrior fights to win. Even though my homeland was lost, I was already committed to this fight. Together, Aizu and I fought many battles and overcame countless hardships. However, he was unable to escape his fate. And, in his final moments, told me the secret of the Gnosis. So it was him. He recommended using the Gnosis on several occasions, even before the tragedy. But I turned him down each time. You knew him, and you fought for Natlan all those years ago. Why don't I recognize you? It must be the mask. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the mask. Even without the mask, my past appearance is long gone. Even with the curse of immortality, the flesh still rots. Wait, do you know someone named Dainsliff? 
That problem doesn't seem quite so extreme for him. You've met him already? Already? Yeah, a bunch of times. Sounds like you know him too. During the age of Conria, all I knew was his name. The last time I saw him in person, he was traveling with the prince. That's kind of odd because if he was a, if Captain was a commander and Thainsleaf was the Twilight Sword, then how did he only know about him by name? And what do you mean the prince? I mean, I know that's our, our sibling, but I don't know. It's kind of odd. I don't know. He carries a degree of pain and hatred that far surpasses my own. Yes, you're the sister of the prince. Given the role I held in Conria, I would prefer not to harm you. But then, this means... For him to hold this level of respect, then it means... He, the Abyss sibling was a prince for quite some time. Or either did something remarkable because there, there's no reason... For there to be this level of respect i guess at least it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like our sibling did anything bad although this is likely a self-imposed burden if the prince saw me now i doubt he would even recognize me as for your question i don't know how dane managed to slow the deterioration of his body my appearance is much changed and that's not the only thing even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. I would have never known. During our battle, it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human strength. What if he's not human? <laughs> hmm. And I still lost. I deserve no praise for that outcome. Still, it's a shame we never faced off 500 years ago. We could have seen what I was truly capable of. I agree. Had we fought then, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. <laughs> this light so, shade. All that commotion back at the stadium, and you're saying neither of you were using your full strength? <laughs> I'd say we're evenly matched. If we face off again, victory will come down to who wants it more. I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. But capitalizing on that situation would have only led to a hollow victory. It would have been no different than taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means I lost. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa allows every Harbinger the freedom to pursue the meaning of their existence. When the time comes, that freedom can take precedence over her orders. Well, that's quite interesting. That's why our methods can be so radically different. Despite sharing the same goal, and the same Sovereign. Sovereign? I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Natlan. That was my primary motive. Once Natlan is saved, if the Gnosis still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Sneznaya. Mm, he's sitting at deal in the table. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change. So let's focus on the Abyss for now. Great! I... What happens when all six heroes are together? Well, this is the first Archon that explicitly states that they are not giving the Gnosis to the Fatui, so I wonder if we're gonna get it. We will unleash a great power that can be used to thwart the Abyss. But only once. It's a power that Shibalanke gained from Renova. Renova is a god whose existence predates any Archon. You can think of her like an emissary of the heavenly principles. She controls the power of death. Wait, is that why you have the Ode of Resurrection? Yes. Renova also orchestrated Natlan's rules. As for the Divine Throne, like I said before, when a human ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. The size of the flame depends on the person's potential. The same principle applies to the ruler of death's power. With one notable distinction. The amount of power inherited will not change depending on your ability to tolerate it. In other words, it's a kind of power that not everyone can withstand. 
But if you survive the trial, you will gain unprecedented strength and the ability to harness powers more formidable than any Archon. That still sounds really risky. We cannot walk this path without accepting risk. Mualani charged into the Night Kingdom despite the abyssal contamination. Auroron fought back from the brink of death. In the face of their bravery, I must respond in kind. That is my duty. Spoken like a true leader. <sighs> All right, that's enough for one day. You should head back and get some rest. I'm sure you're exhausted. The Abyss will likely sense the change in Auroron. It's possible the frequency of the attacks will increase. There are many challenges to come, so we need to be prepared. When you put it that way, Paimon feels even more exhausted. Uh, all right, well, let's head back. Now that we're working together, we'll need to coordinate our efforts. I'll leave a portion of my forces for you to command. That will definitely help relieve some pressure. You're sure they won't object? It's an order. I will make that clear. Excellent. I appreciate your trust. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Is there someone waiting for us? Bring it. Oh yeah. <sighs> that hurts. It stays still. Your one needs time to heal. You need to rest for a few more days. The monsters keep increasing in number. It's like something changed. It's definitely unusual, and we should all be careful. But don't worry too much. You have us by your side. Oh, we could tell them something by now. If there's one thing the Abyss fears, it's strength. If they think we're easy prey, they've got another thing coming. Oh, uh, someone's calling us. Uh, coming, coming. Uh, something wrong, Traveler? Are we not the final hero? Why is why is there <laughs> three oh Kanich, you made it back in one piece! Oh, these must be friends of yours. Well I'll head out then. <laughs> See you later. Oh, how does it have a voice either? Ha ha ha, it was a piece of cake. Those invasive pests are lucky someone call a trust, or we will have burned them all to ashes. I appreciate your concern. The concern, Feynman. Despite Aha's description, the situation wasn't quite so smooth. The captain's forces are all elite warriors. It was a thought of fight. We were prepared to retreat at any moment, and now the fire organ and the captain are working together. Not the outcome I was expecting, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot while we were in the ruin. I'll tell you about it some other time. Well, at least the Fire Organ's plan advanced a step for this is the best outcome we could have hoped for. We all... We really appreciate all your help. But we have to keep pushing forward. Steve and I were just getting about to head out. Actually, my driver's calling for a messenger. We won't keep you then. Let's talk later! Huh. Leo can each think he could just leave without... Consulted the almighty dragon lord cool ahow. Hey, wait up. <laughs> I don't quite get the map. Wait, there's another one, so I'll try to get that first. Mm. But 
How do we get there? Ah, <sighs> nope. We can't give any of these to our soldiers. They were not tempered correctly at the forge. Well-made weapons and shields are vital for the survival of our people. I know we're under a lot of pressure, but we can't compromise on quality. Listen, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I know this isn't your usual standard of work. Why don't, why don't you all just take a break and I'll take care of the pieces. Shimone, is something wrong? E nothing I can handle. Just uh, some rushed, defective goods, that's all. Even the most skilled craftsmen make mistakes under pressure, and if you two want to avoid the same fate, you should really get some rest. You must be exhausted, too. <laughs> ah, don't worry. I like it that way. Alright, that was all. <laughs> now, let's go there for you. Auroron. Oh. Granny? <sighs> What's wrong, Granny? It looks like you have something to say. <sighs> you know exactly what you did. You need some sense knocked into you, that's what I think. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now that you have nowhere to run, that's when you apologize? You couldn't wait to run off last time, and the time before that. Pretty sure I apologized those times, too. What exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal is one thing, but then you also tried to pull off that whole thing in the ancient ruin. <sighs> I'm not the one who needs an apology. Okay. <sighs> I don't have anything to say for myself, Granny. Yell at me all you want. I you better be sincere. I'm being sincere, I promise. I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some... Not because I thought I was special, but because I wanted to... Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so... You even had Aoife bring me that gem. A simple thank you isn't enough. Ah, <sighs> you're welcome. Just make sure... Hmm. Uh, anyway, don't feel too grateful. I tampered with the bag to copy <laughs> a portion of your memories. So he's still in oh. camp. I didn't notice. <laughs> of course you didn't. You forget how many years I have on... Ugh, anyway, the Pyro Archon has discussed your case with the others. Many of... I understand. But... Your efforts weren't entirely meaningless in the end. Huh. Not too shabby, grandson. Did the Traveler in Paimon tell you to say that? What? No! I said that because I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. I told the traveler I was going to break your legs, and I meant every part of it. <laughs> hmm, trying to negotiate, are you? Given all the good things that I managed to accomplish? <sighs> Fine. I can let this slide for now. But I Oh, a traveler, Paima. Hello. Yes. Uh, looking after these little rascals. Taking care of the traveler isn't easy either. Paimon's life is an uphill battle. <laughs> what? Traveler, Paimon, I want to thank you for your help. I won't. Let's get together sometime. Oh, there's a chest. If Auroron really w Sounds great. We'll. Where was it? Hmm. <laughs> If you're done for the day,
You ready? Yep. Let's go meet the Lord of the Night. Oh, are we going with, with them? Yeah. So, this is where you heard the Lord of the Night? Guess that means she really has awakened. Hopefully we made it before she falls asleep again. Fret not. I am still here. For a weak life form, falling asleep is no less taxing an exercise than staying awake. I, I'm sorry for disturbing your rest, but there's something we didn't have the chance to ask you earlier. We need to forge a new ancient name for the Traveler, but we ran into a problem. She's not from Natland, so there are no records of her in the Night Kingdom. I see. Mawika must hold her in high regard. It would seem the two of you are not simply here on her orders. So, what say you? Do you believe this traveler to be deserving? Mm-hmm. Uh. Speak your mind. There are no others here. You are both my children. Both children of Natlan. I would hear your opinions on the matter. She is special. She saved Kachina and devoted herself to helping us avert this disaster. Natlan owes her a debt. But that debt has not been repaid. And with an ancient name, we can at least guarantee her safety. Even though that guarantee will come at the cost of your own life? Yes. So, it's oh. true. Forging an ancient name consumes the life of the craftsman. Forging an ancient name is an act of creation. It involves taking disparate concepts throughout the Night Kingdom and condensing them into a heroic epic. Hmm. Its stories are really a recurring topic in the game. But it takes time for the new concept to be integrated into that realm. If the ancient name is like a seed, then the life of the craftsman is the outer shell, serving as its protection. Seed of stories brought by the wind. Once that process is complete, oh, the seed there? will sprout, and having served its purpose, the outer shell will gradually disappear. How was that one phrase that shows everywhere? Forging an ancient name is no easy task. And creating one for an outlander makes it even more challenging. Still, if you're here, that means your mind is set. Is the Lord going to sacrifice herself? Yes, because I believe forging this name will be well worth it. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold or back the, the abyss or what the final price of averting this disaster will be. If giving up my life means that all the people of Natlang can have a future, then the sacrifice is practically negligible. Even when I'm staring death in the face, I don't think I'll regret this decision. I bear the name Baraka. This is a part of my duty. But isn't she one of the the heroes? Like, like, wait. What the consequences would be? I understand. The chance may be exceedingly slim, but you still want to seize it. Because this could be the final step to victory. And you, Sidlali? The anxiety you feel. It's because you saw something, yes? Oh. Something you were not meant to see. They know something about the She knows something about the Traveler. So, you know about that too. What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan oh. needs too much time. It's not about the and too many th The masters of the Nightwind have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. It's just... Using this power on the Pyro Archon has always been seen as a taboo. And you did it anyway? W what, what did you see? Death. Oh. A key part of Malika's plan is using the six heroes to release the power Shabalanke obtained from the ruler of death. Considering its origins, the price of using that power is death. You, you're saying Mawika is going to die in this war against the Abyss? Yes. But it's the art of resurrection. So, either Sh Shavalanke comes back or... Sh I don't know. I don't think they're actually... I don't know. 
It's the art of resurrection. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. What? What? Like, we've known this, but someone's finally saying it. Don't forget, Sidlali. Even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Fate indicates what will happen in the future. The time, manner, and place are all predetermined. But death is different. Death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Moika to triumph over the abyss. But the ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of fate may be able to influence the timing. But that is all the truth. If, 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 wait, you're, you're saying we might be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome? I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. Mawika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes. I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Well, I can't. She's so strong. She never gives up, never rests until a problem is solved. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her d The Traveler shares that quality. That's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together, I know they can overcome the impossible. We shall have to wait and see. But I will curb my expectations. My time is running out. It is my honor to witness humanity in this moment of absolute determination. We won't forget your contributions. Once we deal with the Abyss, we'll find a way to keep you alive. Thank you for saying that. But there is nothing. How many years of life are enough? Ten? One hundred? One thousand? Ten thousand? The Night Kingdom will disappear. The humans will continue to fight against the Abyss. And in the end... That's what makes us different. Even if our end comes tomorrow, humanity will still do whatever it takes to survive today. Exactly. Times like these always fill me with admiration and reinforce my commitment to the mandate I shoulder. My creator was right in esteeming you as special above others. Creator? Here. This is my gift to you and an extension of my will. It can record the traveler's experiences in this land, whether from the past or the future. Wait. That's... That's like Benji. That he knows songs from the past and the future. So is he like... He's a part of the shade of a shade, isn't he? With it, you can forge the ancient name you desire. And the Traveler will also become a hero forever recorded in the memory of Natlan. Thank you. We're sorry to ask this of you when your strength is already all but spent. Really? Thank you so much. Your thanks are unnecessary. This is the least that an angel can do. Time for you to leave. It's getting dark. So is Venti a silly? I can't sleep with all the noise outside! Forget it! Let's go check it out! Shilon and Silali, is there a reason you're up so early? We went to see the Lord of the Night, and she gave us this. Like I said before, I couldn't forge your ancient name because there was no record of you in the Night Kingdom. But with this, we can finally record your deeds. Just keep it with you during your time in Natlan. And eventually, it'll be full of your adventures. Really? Let Paimon see! Oh. 
Oh. What are the three other things? Hmm. Whoa, it's the two of us! And a sun in the middle! Oh, and that must be... Uh, Kachina? It's not a concrete medium. It reflects the Lord of the Night's will, and shows what she wants you to see. Oh, in other words, don't worry about his form. When you want to check the contents, just take it out and have a look. Sounds convenient! It's also super light and doesn't take up too much space. This is a really awesome gift. Oh, yeah. We feel bad accepting something like that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, you two. It's, you know, like you saw yesterday, aiding humanity is the Lord of the Night's mandate. She would have willingly reconstructed Natland's ley lines at the cost of her own existence. She wouldn't, she wouldn't ask anything in return for this. Exactly. Just... Well? If you say so. <laughs> oh, thank God that you're here. They have been attacked again, and it's really bad. The monsters are everywhere. We need help. So soon? We just fought them off. We can figure that out later. Let's go! We are in that one. Oh. <laughs> I see. I'll send reinforcements to those two locations. This other one is too dangerous. I'll handle it myself. The remaining locations are remote with no inhabitants. Let's bring our warriors back and make sure they're careful on the retreat. Understood. I'll spread the word. We're here. What's going on? Kachina said the Abyss attacked again? Yes. It's not looking good. Our forces have always been able to handle the sporadic attacks, but now... There are more monsters than ever, and the attack- What about the scale? What areas are they targeting? All of Natlan. Not just around the stadium, but even the remote areas of the Collective of Plenty are reporting attacks. I just thought that- I just remember that the Abyss sibling is behind all of this, so... Like, even from the moment we arrived at... At Mondstadt... Everything has been carried out with the abyss, so is is he trying to like recreate what has happened in the story of 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 Tibat? Like in a way, I guess what he did to oh, what was his name? Ventis Dragon. Well, Ventis Dragon. I I can't remember his name. I, I just remember Durin, but that's not him. Um, he was poisoned, and the history of Tribad starts with the dragons fighting the primordial ones, so... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling. Could this also be some kind of omen? If things continue like this, then... We won't last much longer, I know. What we are seeing now is the desperation of the Abyss. It knows we're only one hero short. Oh, and... So maybe the Loom of Fate, in order to complete it, they need to create a couple cycles? I don't have the strength to fight it right now. This is its best opportunity and its final chance. You're saying we just have to hold out for as long as we can? <sighs> It'll be a long fight. Our current focus needs to be on protecting civilians and conserving manpower. There are caravans and adventurers trapped in the wild. Many of our warriors have already... Leave up to us, we'll have right away. All right. Shilonen, Kachina, head to the camp near the Children of Echoes. As an important figure in the plan, Auroron will stay here. Your tribe is too- Understood. I'll leave right away. I prepared a hot air balloon to take you where you're needed. Oh. Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natlan. 
up as I receive intel from the various regions. All right, no time to lose. Let's go. Be careful, everyone. What about us? Where should we go? I received word that a small team escorting civilians back to the stadium was a... Can I leave them to you? Thank you. The hot air balloon is over there. Oh. Of course, I have to. And we're up! Hey, this thing is pretty convenient! It's not only fast, but also saves us a lot of energy. There they are. Reinforcements, thank goodness. Barbados, goodness. Letting brave names echo. Feels a slit. Thank you for coming. We were almost at the breaking point. Oh, there were just too many monsters. They just kept coming, wave. At least we got here in time. I know, but it's not that easy. Our cart was also attacked, and now our supplies are... That's not important right now. We need to focus... I know, but these were medical supplies. It's them! Over here! We came to help, but... Looks like you don't- Now we can head straight to the next location. What other areas need help? Here, take a look at the li Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy. If you see a messenger from the Scions of the Canopy- Thanks! Now where should we go next? Seems like you can hold your own in a fight. So let's split up. Uh, still looks like they could use some help here, though. These- It's all right. Don't delay your rest- But if we stay here too long- What do you think, Traveler? Should we stay and help? Paimon will do whatever you decide. We can just help them out quickly. Oh. What? What? Oh, so they actually matter now? Traveler, can my mother's a doctor. When she heard about the attack, I'm worried. She's not a fighter, and I can't leave. Of course, we've got. Thank you. And who's the other guy? Is the other one? Oh. Do he get normal? Not at all. You're oh, yeah.
Well, this one have emergency, so... Are they not aware we can teleport? And that's why... Because sometimes I feel like teleportation devices are kind of like people know, but I don't know. Could we just run there? No. Hey, can each just ran past? He must be busy delivering messages. At least he didn't look hurt. Strike a pose. This is it. Looks like a battle is in progress. Let's go help them. How much longer are these things going to keep coming? We're reaching the breaking point! Hello. <sighs> Thank you so much. You came just in What's going on? Yeah, seems like it. The Pyro Archon told us to be ready to- <sighs> You got here just in time. The wounded? This area was hit bad. We're housing the wounded in this- We don't know what to do next. Thank goodness you're here, though. You saved us. You're right. The month That will take time, though. And some of the- Don't worry. Once we escort the first group, I'll- call Let's help them out here for now. Then we- Oh, there's a messenger over there. Thanks for your help. Hang in there, you two. Oh, I want to go there, but... But that's an emergency, so... Oh, we teleported. That's nice. command. Not everyone understood his decision, but our Lord's orders take precedence overall. We're alive because of them. They saved us. Well, um, guess that means we should thank you guys. <laughs> this gets weird. Agreed. Where are you headed? <laughs> the people of the Springs? That was the plan, but I don't know. I suggest heading to the stadium. Most of the manpower will be focused there. Once we take care of these monsters, some of our soldiers will escort you. Thank you. Yes, a little extra help never hurt. People from all over Natlan are heading to the stadium. That area... If your other tasks are complete, I'm sure the people there could use your aid. Hearing those words from you also feels quite strange for me. <laughs> but I can only accept the situation at hand. I mean, it's not the first time we, we get along, so...
people. I want to seek shelter as well, but the people of the springs need these potions. Uh, I'm not... We can get you close. It's on our way. Oh, well... Great, I appreciate it. Hi! I... nice... It's dangerous to lie solely... Oh, where do we go now? What? I guess. Wow, there are so many people here. Looks like it really is getting too dangerous for people to stay out in the wild. Guess that means the situation isn't getting any better. Well, we'll just have to keep fighting. Yeah, I thought I would check on the situation after finishing my delivery work. Work. If you are here, though, I, I doubt I need it. Yeah, it really feels like we're running short on people everywhere. It's so dangerous out there. Not that Paimon's complaining. It's just what a stupid question. You know the answer. You're just too afraid to face it, like a bunny bug clinging to a pipe dream. Okay, that's enough out of you. <laughs> this may be one of the few times I have has a point. On the bright side, we can pat ourselves on the back for saving all these civilians and bringing them back. My drive is launching a second wave of patrols now. We'll do a scan of the whole nation as long as we don't scatter our forces, the abyss has nothing to fear. Fear is useless. Anyway, even if the endless search of monsters scares you to death, you still have to fight. There's no other choice. She took a small team of warriors to the mines. A group of people from the ch children of Echoes were trapped there. I think she just got back. The level alone makes the area dangerous and out scrolling with monsters. Without her power, she's just an ordinary beach and fairy like the rest of us. I'll be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Spew nonsense is always quite worrying, and look at the outcome, genius. She's still obviously the strongest warrior you have. Yeah, she always seems so confident. Plus, she told us you can only become the Archon by proving your strength. It's true. She certainly helps us save manpower. She can handle the dangerous area. Almost entirely on her own. 
Alright, alright, I'm tired of this conversation. Either take a break or get moving already. A break sounds good. We won't be much help in the village where that are feet. Good idea! Maybe we can see if the people around here need anything in the meantime. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same page. There are a lot of people in here. Can they all be refugees? I managed to accept my fear, but I still want to ask you one last thing. If I die, do you think any... Yeah. Oh, Please oh, no, I meant the other to one. Stay alive. I meant to, to choose the other important. one. My life is super important. All right, but he got the message. Got it. Thank you again for leading me to the answer. It's you t Hey, you made it Sure did. D Plus, we managed to deliver the medical so Wanna get some rest, Traveler? We have- The situation is still quite grim here, take a look. Looks like this place also isn't as safe as we thought. That plus the bridge to the stadium is also compromised. <laughs> What's going oh. on? The the Ravel Russes returned. They don't know how what what to give when to give up. And if it's a file on here, that's not good news. We have to deal with it now. Oh, we're missing him. Wait, that's not what I'm trying to do. Right. Okay. No. Wind, hear me. Letting grave names echo. Oh, that's bad. Ooh. Second 
Thanks. The situation is grave. Hold this position. Keep the people safe. <gasps> Chaos and emptiness. So that's the abyss. And it knows that now is its best chance. But the sacred flame! Archon's on the case. <laughs> Did it run away when we saw the gnosis? Or not? Uh, what was that? The physical embodiment of pure dread and destruction. That black pit of despair will eat you alive. Ah, long last. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's gonna eat you too! <laughs> so is that the source of the abyss pow power? Have to get a closer look at that thing. It might be already a bit too late. Get to the place mentioned in the battle report. I have a feeling things are about to get very bad very quickly. There is no time to be. The fact that Deadpan Kenich is this nervous just goes to show how serious this really is. Oh, let's go. The disaster is really happening. <laughs> I'll go closer to this bar there. All right. Whoa! Those Saurians are fighting each other. Something's wrong. Where are these monsters? I really need to change my party already. We were on our way to the stadium with our Saurians when that dark entity emerged in the sky. Seconds later, the abyss monsters appeared and changed into Saurian form. They fought till the end to protect us. Right. You need to get to the stadium. Come on, we'll... I guess. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Knows it's just, but anyway, right now, let's focus up with any luck. There'll be an update waiting for us there. Didn't keep you waiting, did I? Need the latest battle report? But, as I understand, the folks at the Scions of- If you're free, please head the- Oh. Can 
get away. Yahoo! All right. Letting brave names echo. Let my name echo in song. Wind, hear me. Brace yourselves. Time for takeoff. <laughs> All right. You. After you left, some of them started evacuating the civilians, while the rest stayed behind to keep guard, but... They're all dead. I'm the only survivor. We're done for now. The Abyss will attack again any minute. Hang in there. We'll think of something. Like what? None of the civilians have any combat experience. The monsters are gone for now, right? Get back inside! It's... I know it's dangerous. That's why I can... Same. Huh? Can you spare some equipment for us? I've never been in a battle before, but I'm young and I can hold a weapon. And I used to fight in the pilgrimage when I was a younger man. Admittedly, I never... But if you hand me a spear, I... I think the old muscle... There are others willing to join us as well. I persuaded them to... We can't watch on as our heroes lose heart. Hmm. We don't have much equipment... Okay. Take with a few extra fighters. We should just about be able. Everyone who's fighting? Be yes, sir. Got it. Take our hot air balloon. You can. Uh, no need. You'll have other people to save. We're taking. Okay, well. Try going that way. That's the route. Thank you, both. You've been a huge help. I am devastated by the deaths. We're not going down without a fight. Thanks. We will. Oh. Doesn't look like we'll be able to find it in here. The monsters are all that's left. Hear the echoes of the valley! Barbados, guide us! Yahoo! Time for takeoff! Here we go! Brace yourself! Nope. Nobody here. The latest intel said the children of Echoes need support too. These warriors are struggling! Quick, without them! Be faster. Thank you so much. You saved the day. Given how few of us are left, I think it's time we cut our losses. This place is as good as gone. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best to regroup somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors, gather round. Oh. 
For anyone who still wants to fight on the front lines, the children of Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave will likely also see action as they evacuate. Those are the options. We're abandoning this with our limited numbers. I can't promise that we'll be of any real assistance to the children of Echo's... Now then, anyone who wishes... Really? Even hmm. after my less than rousing speech? Why would we give up now, after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat. We can't give another inch to the Abyss. We have to fight- Very well. For Natlan. For Natlan! For Natlan. We may be few in number, but our will remains strong. Okay, well, take- Don't worry. It'll be just like another Night Warden War. We'll force the Abyss back if it's the last thing we do. Ticket speaker? Shoot! That creepy abyss thing is raining down a dangerous looking substance again! That's over towards people of the Springs territory. From what I've heard. Now let's head over and check. Too many monsters. There are just too many. It's beyond anything we've seen before. Couldn't they like ask for reinforcements from like other countries? Like Sumeru is kind of close. And the concept of diplomacy exists. So, what, why are we taking the hot balloon?
Well, I mean, at least I'm glad the game retook the main story again. Are we not stopping? Them. Traveler, this war is getting too much for my mind to take. Don't be afraid, okay. Simon. I know we can win Let's this. Let's do this. I really have a lot of Natlin licks left to explore. Can we? just cut out these air balloon parts, I don't know. Still no luck, huh? What on earth are these things? Yeah, at least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy them. But this thing, it's like a part of that sky demon's body or something. <sighs> Whatever it is, it seems like it can spawn abyssal pylons. At this point, retreat looks like our best option. The stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred, the pyro archon is guarding the flame. As long as that continues, Water and some snacks. Oh. You look like you need it. Well, there's some. I'm nine. guessing you've been supporting the fight all over the map. Sounds like you need a breather. We got enough people to hold our own here, and it's high time you took a break. Why don't you sit down oh. and gather your strength for a minute? It's true. We've been fighting pretty much nonstop. Tra what is it? Oh, you're right. Well, then guess we'd better go warn um it's your decision if you want yeah let's go right now all right oh no the monsters have already stormed in It's you guys. Things are bad here. Something fell out of the sky that's impervious. Fuck, I'll give you the order for everyone to evacuate. Show a nice safe kindness of your guard. It's a good thing you did, otherwise we might not have made it in time. Kachina, 
She and I can deal with the remaining monsters and abyssal pylons. You should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents. Got it leave right away. They need all the help they can get. Stay safe, Kachina. <laughs> She's so cute. Come on, let's get this done. Oh, it's the trial. Oh. Why this artifact again? Bring it. <laughs> Is there something to destroy? Oh, all right. Brace yourself. Go and fly. Think you can get away? Yahoo! Time to shine. I'm oh, scrolling up. I need you. I swear by my sword. All right. Hear the echoes of the valley! Barbados, guide us. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Bring it. Yep, that's everyone. And no more casualties by the look of things. Yeah, this is... I... I appreciate your help. <sighs> Some of the things I've seen, I... I've never witnessed a full-scale abyss of Asian before. I mean, I'd heard stories about the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Mawika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair an abyss of Asian would bring. Yeah. And despite that, she's still facing it. We've had to abandon our homes and chase the dying light of day. And maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again isn't... But as long as there's even a sliver of hope... We should catch up with the group. Can you just to give you some really bad news? That those structural harvesting have been dropped by all the trivial, trivial territory. So it wasn't just the children of Echoes, even the collective of Plenty was affected, and they are the farthest away. The worst affecting region was the Flower Feather clans, said it was a com complete disaster what? over there. Isn't that Chaska's tribe? She said she was gonna take Koichi home to rest for a while. Oh. Kirichi didn't even so talk to catch his breath before leaving for the stadium. He said he was gonna try and assemble a team to go and support them, but... but... how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. 
And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. Yeah. Then there'll be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with... The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. We have to go to the owl yeah. for their class. Paimon's oh, sure it's getting tired reading. from all this flying, but it doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon... Yep, we'll leave the children of Echoes to you guys. Really? But you guys must have been near your limit, truly. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now! Yeah. Wait! Over there! She what happened to her? It. She's covered in abyssal energy! Please, save her. How's that, Koichi? Any better now? Koichi? Chaska, I used to think mom and dad were crazy for adopting you. I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. And I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... Well... We were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into... Th <sighs> I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now, I realize I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. The fact that we became family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just... I agitated you even further. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because... I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but... I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. <laughs> I get it now. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down. And never hold back. <laughs> Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. 
Because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. Kuichi! Kuichi! Kuichi? What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out. Kuichi did say that Tasca needs to let off steam now and then, or she'll end up. If only we were faster! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before me. What's happening to Cheska? How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning. And each step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better. But her journey goes on. And one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain and ascend over the dark, maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph to remember the pain I endured and finally trans. <sighs> <sighs> Let's take Kuichi somewhere safer. Please, take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Yes. She served self- I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far- Koichi wanted to be a hero. If we want to honor what she stood- mm. Time for this war. All right. I'll write the seven, the seven words are complete. Everyone, are you ready? A bitter war lies ahead. May no further lives be lost. And as long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame.
Its blaze will become one with the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. For flames born anew, and the blazing dawn. A hero scaled the volcano to seize the sun. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. Now, guide me in my first step. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. By past fuel and present flame, Lord marches ever on. We will answer to the fire of, for, our, for all of our deeds. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally, transcend it. Heroes of the Ages, our moment has finally come. We unite as one. one. Baptized by the Turnfire. Bearing an ancient blessing. Knowing true power. And accepting a fate of devotion. We embrace the transcendent flame. For Natlan! For Natlan! That is an outright scary level of power. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the sacred flame. That's right. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And to reclaim our lost territory. This is all for... This is for all those who gave their lives for Nadler. Everyone, let's go. I... Uh, we'll come with you. Baimon, Traveler. I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, this counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of Vuka, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my and make me the person Kuichi believed. All right, let's go show the ab-
this out. Use my power to destroy the abyss tumors. Oh, she's the one. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! <laughs> Sorry, Mulani. I'll adjust my aim. No, no, you're good, Archon. It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool! Not great for your eyesight, though. Oh, yeah. Fair point. You said all the drugs of the Oh, never mind. Too high. It's impossible to mute him. Okay. Oh, thank you, Insula. Done. <laughs> thank you, Malika. power and show no mercy. Night Spectrum Book, Turbo Trio. Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some more time, I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you dimwit! It's too dangerous! Children of Echo's territory is secure. All monsters down. All good here at the people of the Springs, too. We crushed it! Masters of the Nightwind are also safe. Should I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. Already? But you're the... <sighs> yeah, well... Oh! Ian-san, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Bree. Yeah! Their only game plan was to outnumber us, and then it... We ain't gonna let them get away with that. More abyss tumors of descent. Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance. All right. This is the final battle! Get away. 
Everyone, we are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! I must caution that this war is not yet over. We have not destroyed our enemy merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. Oh, man. Wait, Archon, are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The Abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. Not the traveler. I'm sure you're all still Just fired saying. up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must and ask I'm... you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with. Please look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our hearts' content. Uh. I guess, if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically- That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather ev- Now. 
Let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, an ancient name could never record the many who we- If- if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of- Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the Captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits, so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. <laughs> the clap. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident. Now I just figured out I shall do my part, you know. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's hmm. your oyster now. How are things at the people of the Springs Bay? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding. Same situation for the children of Echoes. Well, it's so sad that some people couldn't be saved by the art of resurrection. I think. On whole, can I reach for them when I get it? Oh, home. that's a great idea. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for. <laughs> ah, welcome. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired or? <laughs> I guess I am. You know, when I was up there in the sky. I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... <sighs> if only I'd been quicker. Maybe they wouldn't have... And Koichi. Maybe she'd... <sighs> I'm sorry. Now's not the time for that. Um... <clears throat> Fruit juice, right? Make it a large? <sighs> True. My 500 year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. But battle is second nature to me, so... I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! Are you always gonna have that kind of power from now on? It's no one going to mention... That the whole this guy's fake thing is real. Oh, uh, that was the divine throne unleashing my full potential, and it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. From now on, it's back to ancient name bearers only. Correct. We dealt the Abyss a cr- I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me. What drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? You know, it's that mindset that distinguishes the heroes in every story. They're the natural protagonists. What I'm really trying to say is, I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I, together, Finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the speaker's chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle and then I hope to hear your verdict. Philon's taller.
I must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. You remind me of the Prince. The similarities in your approach are striking. Especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see him soon. Hey, Aurora! How are the Masters of the Night Wind doing? Granny C. Lolly's been there the whole time. And she's a tough... I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. Do you need support from the Fatui? Oh, oh. Uh, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and <laughs> I suspect they would find your comrade's presence a little distressing. <laughs> they can still accept the Fatui. Right. Too. often they look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. <laughs> okay. Well, also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad oh. for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. Yan Sun. Kitty, it's your one lucky devil. I don't know how the heck you're still alive. I'm not Sarah to learn smooth right now. Stop being so flippant. Unless you want to get punched in the face. <laughs> what is it with you, Ahal? Why are you so incapable of being nice? Oh, this is rich. Only one misled victor and it's all gone to your head. Hmm, you'll be mincemeat by now, if not for your heroic deeds of the Almighty. T Dragon Lord Kahula how my boys are retired, sorry. Okay, credit where credit's due. Here's a bunch of grapes for your trouble. Don't trip like I'm your pet parrot. Although unfortunately a lot of the people say they're willing to help out part-time, that shall alleviate the, the situation. The Collective of Plenty was the furthest from the Abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All's well that ends well. Well, what did you know? These are pretty tasty. Oh, Serpent, one more bunch of grapes. Posseis? Pos okay, Polly. Wait. Mm, there's one. Where is it? Where is this? this other one? Um, I'll leave, I guess. Lolly. Hey, Traveler, Paimon. There you are. I've been looking all over- Oh, hey, Seat Lolly. What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. What? I are, are you serious? Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the Ruler of Death's power. I had thought that the Ruler of Death might have a change of heart. Even now that the war's over and the threat to- I had to know your thoughts. Okay, good. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. Hmm. Is she not saying outright that the Traveler is at the center because maybe she thinks the Traveler is hiding it? Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Mawika. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. Got it. Mum's the word. All right. That was the last major item on my to-do- uh, go, go easy, <laughs> though. Yeah? Don't worry. <laughs> I said a- Oh, 
All right, you little munchkin. If you keep pestering me, I'm gonna have to get Siri. I get a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next Pyro Archon. Why should I train you? Ah, uh, nagging isn't gonna accomplish anything. No one can predict the future, and unless you have some exceptional jaw-dropping talent I'm unaware of. I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from right here. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here. Wait, hold on. You could hurt someone with that. Well, I'll be. You made the shot. The science of the canopy rays them tough. That's some real skill you got there, little lady. Maybe you really will be Pyro Archon one day. He got it as a gift. If you ask me nicely, there's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. Well, I guess continue to. <sighs> no need to scowl. You lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes, right? <sighs> so cheer up. I'll get my own ancient name soon enough. And it'll be an even better one than yours. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, good luck with that. <laughs> what ancient name could beat Molly Po in our tribe? <gasps> Unless... Surely you don't mean Kiongozi? Fantastic! I can't believe I beat you in a wrestling match for once. Can't be more than a few days now until you're officially made the Pyro Archon. <laughs> Imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that. Excuse me, Pyro Archon, but would you be able to take a day off from running the nation to wrestle with me? <laughs> I heard that the Pyro Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently, it can change your personality. I can't help but... <laughs> worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore? Why would I be worried about that? <laughs> Never mind. Clearly, I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because of some new job? <laughs> Come on. One more round. After the darkness will come the dawn. Wait. No one fights alone. Brighter at last. We walk the righteous path, and the Pyro Archon will guide us. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written into the Night Kingdom, and this will help you to stand against the Abyss. It is still not enough. Ooh. All this can do is give my people courage. It will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. 
You are the greediest human I have ever met, and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death, and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? I need that power. Only a hero can truly wield it, and heroes are not afraid of dying. No. A fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the Abyss, and it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength and reach heights that even I cannot dream of. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade, and I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement, and claim that treacherous Shibalanke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. Come in. So that's how the story of the one who stole the flame began. As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the Abyss. Oh, but first, any progress on the ancient name? <sighs> I'm surprised she was willing to help you, and by extension me. I'm very grateful to her. Wait, hold on! Wasn't the whole point of the ancient names for winning that huge battle? What? That's right. The Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Night Kingdom. If we don't finish them off and restore the Ley Lines, the threat they pose to Natlan will remain. This is the fate Natlan has always been resigned to. For thousands of years, we have struggled, but this time, I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the Sacred Flame, I can protect myself from the Abyssal Corruption, but beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But if it can, I'd really love your help. Not completely. After all, the Night Kingdom is still plagued by abyssal corruption. But when I used the power of the Divine Throne, it dispelled a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case, so the Lord of the Night will take special care of you. In short, the Ode of Resurrection still has a number of limitations, but I can promise... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Forgetting something here? What if what? You mean we'll be the abyss is extremely devious. If you two go there together, you can bet they'll make Paima wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? Okay, well, Paima needs to think about this because you're really asking a lot of her, but Give I greatly. Everyone in Natland knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered long into the future, until the end of time. If you have any other questions, please ask away. Can we please ask about the fake sky? As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Yes. Hmm. False sky. I have heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurer's Guild tells me, neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. I mean, it happened in Mondstadt, too. But I mean... It was kind of a secret. <sighs> My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. Oh, you should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anyway, 
The line I'm going with for the masses is astronomical anomaly. And I don't expect much of a backlash. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the healing process, on the other hand. Uh, that's a as the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future. We as I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask. That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in that land since, albeit in a different and so. Even though we will, I think that gives another layer of meaning to the, as I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask. We have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. Yeah, Paimon still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. But somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the in- <sighs> Now, we should focus on the final- As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. The Outlander with deep ties to this land returns. And this time, he is alone. The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the Abyss came from the ruler of death. From what I know of her rules, she will demand death in return. How do you know this? Is he gonna sacrifice himself? I see. So, the ruler of death sent you on your long journey. Natland still has a final battle to fight. And I too, have a final foe to face. What? Could he be like Shavalanki under another name? No, but he's from Canvia. For the sake of those countless lost souls, and a hope for Natland's future, I need your help. That is the end of this Archon quest. Guess we're having another part, another part in the next update, and what could possibly be the last part, unless we dive more into what Captain is trying to do. But yeah, it was pretty interesting. I'm glad we finally got more information about the fixed guy and more over overall lore about Chibat because that's something I've been looking forward so yeah thank you so much for watching see you in the next one